Monsieur. Uh huh. Ace the young heavy. heavy. Y'all know the time. Man. The sickness. My nigga Bodil. Some niggas want the money, the power, the respect. Fuck this shit. I want all three of them bitches. Heavy shit. That's the definition of heavy. heavy. Bitch, I'm heavy. Hey. Bitch, I'm heavy. Hey. Louis head and towing something for and fuck a Chevy. Hey. Money, everywhere. Money, money, everywhere. Money, money, everywhere. Sneaker news. Salute, you two. <laughs> Salute, you two. Peace to the earths and gods and go mob to the frat. Thanks for joining us again for another exciting episode of Ace Heavy Kicks, where we look at cool ass kicks for the comic collector. And I'm here with my son, Angelo. Say what's up to him, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Yep, and he's starting his new channel, Angelo's Random Thoughts. And I'll make sure that I give you guys that information when I have more about it. Let's get into the sneaker news for today, y'all. So news for this week, first and foremost, you can tell I am certainly a Warriors fan. Hashtag dubs and six. I said it here first for any other sneaking uh, new YouTube news person say something. All right. Golden State is definitely going to overpower the Celtics, not just because they have offensive prowess, but because they have pedigree. They've been to the dance before, ladies and gentlemen. A7 Camp, they understand what it takes to be successful. And I do say them taking the ship at the end of it. So... Dubs and Six, Warriors fan, your boy get on uh, the KD jersey. You might get jokes for it, might have something to say about it, but you know what, KD is one of my favorite basketball players of all time and definitely favorite is playing in the league right now. So salute to you, KD. Uh, peace, elevate, and uh, let's get into the news for this week outside of that. So our last video was our sneaker con video. It was incredible, man. We got a chance to go all the way to uh, Denver, Colorado. We even spent some time in Snowman, spent some time in Colorado Springs, and of course, in Aspen doing shopping at the Chrome Heart Store, Balenciaga, Gucci, etc. So had a great time doing that. $30,000 pickup with my boys at Top 3 Kicks. Incredible brothers. So shout out forever. Eternal love to my brothers. Um, Amen and goddamn it, Jeff Dior, my boys for life. Outside of that, we got Travis Scott news this week. Last week we had a big release of the the, the Air Maxes and then also the trainers. The trainers came in, I believe, as a, a a wheat color and then also a gray haze. And but but people were really focusing on it. What I'm personally interested in were the Air Maxes. The Air Maxes were really nice. So we had those in a Saturn Gold. Uh, and also a Baroque brown, right? And then there's also a third colorway that a lot of people don't know about. I think it's called a honey, uh, a honey wheat lemon drop. Not drop the honey part. Wheat lemon drop is uh, the third colorway. But that shoe is going about 2,300 bucks. So if you like that shoe, like I do, you get an opportunity to grab uh, in the 4, 450, 460 range, the Baroque brown, which is the most popular, and in the other shoe. Um, the, uh, the, the wheat or no, the Saturn gold, you can grab that particular shoe for around the 350, 360 range. So if that's something you're into. It's definitely affordable on the resale market. Also add to in the news this week, the people are looking at the trending pattern and the value, the resale value of uh, dunks, used and new pairs. People are not valuing the same way. And if you look at the market trends, I think that it continue. And the reason why it's probably happening is because the popularity is directly tied to Air Jordan 1s, right? So if the silhouette Air Jordan 1 is not selling right now, then we probably are not going to see big sales on dunks. So if you were, had dunks and you were holding them to sell at some point, now might be a time. Um, could the market rebound at this point? I don't know. But dunks is never something I was really into. And I bought those fragment dunks, uh, watching some of the market trends, just looking at what I'm into. I went ahead on the distance. So. Anyway, with that being said, that's all we got for news again this week. Ace Heavy Camp, thanks for joining in with us. Dubs and Six, don't forget. Sneakers for Retail. Next up, Sneakers for Retail. Check out our Nike Tone blog. Let's go.
and it's a damn shame. But you know, your boy AC Young Heavy with the apps, with the raffles, I never hit, never hit, never hit on none of them joints. Hey, and it is what it is. So that's why I go ahead and hit the boutiques and I use the strategies that I use. So also I wanted to mention the sneakers for retail. They're not quite neat retail price, but they're so close to it, it's worth an honorable mention. So those Nike trainers that came out, the Travis Scott's, that you've also seen some similar silhouettes coming out since then and a little before because the anticipation of those Travis Scott's, those are not super expensive shoes in the, in the re resale market. I believe retail at 160. Right now, you can grab a pair of the, the Wheats for the 197, 195, depending upon what size range you're looking at in adult shoe sizes. Obviously in children, they'd be cheaper. For uh, the Grey Haze, you can get those pretty close to retail. They're, they're cheaper than uh, than the more popular pair, uh, the Wheat pair. So the Wheat and also the Grey Haze are possible pickups for close to retail. So again, if you wanted to look at getting a Travis Scott, this is the cheapest possible for a person on the resale side of life to grab a Travis Scott Nike shoe, collaboration shoe. So um, this is your chance. Uh, Ace Heavy can't be really want to spend that money. You want to grab one, actually grab a shoe for close to retail, a Travis Scott, it's your opportunity. Check it out. I told you first, Ace Heavy can. Upcoming sneaker releases. So upcoming releases for this week, Ace Heavy Camp. We got a lot of cool stuff coming out um, over the next month. And I'm also going to talk about some stuff coming out in the fall. So first up, I want to talk about those Yeezy 350 Boost V2 Turtle Doves. That is a shoe, a coveted shoe that a lot of people have wanted for some time. We're looking at a fall 2022 release on those. Also, most anticipated for me, I'm a Monier 4. So I'm a Monier 4, to me, remind me of the Air Jordan uh, PSGs, Paris Saint Germain. So that's the Air Jordan 4 silhouette. It's got like uh, those uh, violet and uh, darker hues. It's probably a shoe that you would think about uh, that will release in the fall time. But it's, it's, it's going to come out supposedly a little before that late summer. Um, uh, early fall, and uh, that's certainly a pair I'm gonna be looking at grabbing. Fours are certainly trending right now, and fours are, uh, in terms of value, uh, are a good buy if you are a person who wants to hold shoes to collect them to at one point and sell them or look at that as a, uh, an asset. So, just putting that out there. June 11th, we have the Retro One Highlighter, Highlighter Volt, right? So, they had the Volts that came out two years ago, now we had a Highlighter Volts. I'm not sure if this is going to be a shoe that's going to be difficult to grab. You'll probably be able to grab it for a retail price, um, I'm thinking. I probably won't be grabbing it. June 14th, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low Fly Ease Biohack. Now, Fly Ease don't typically come in lows, and I certainly wouldn't think they would put a Biohack uh, color blocking on that shoe. I'd be really curious to see if it's got the same type of... Uh, material that the high biohack has but for me this is the shoe i would like to have i like the fly ease personally i actually have hooped in uh, a pair of two of those i think i had the, uh, the royal colorway a uh, royal and black colorway in those and uh, that is the shoe i would, I would wear uh, with a fit or something like that am i crazy about them no but i probably will grab them huh? june 15th jordan 4 infrared uh and gray that's definitely a shoe highly anticipated also uh june 20th the Yeezy 350 Boost V2 Bone. I've seen a lot of pairs of those available online. eBay, StockX has quantities, Goat has quantities, and also the boutiques have those shoes in hand right now. So obviously it's a traditional 350 uh, Boost. And it's cool that we're in a place now where we're talking about something being traditional that's a Yeezy. That's how established she is in the sneaker market community. But we got the Yeezy 350 uh, Boost V2 Bone that has a traditional V2 silhouette. Uh, and it's all white, cocaine white, pretty much. Um, but June 24th, the Mason Chateau Rouge Air Jordan 2 uh, limited release. Those are coming out in full size and Adele and you. Um, and I think there's gonna be a shoe that's gonna sell out immediately. Obviously, collaborations are highly anticipated shoes. People like them. Uh, and the Air Jordan 2 is kind of catching steam right now. So twos, fours are shoes that people are grabbing up. With that being said, those are the sneakers that we have releasing this week. Um, 
Are any of them hot that you think you want to grab? Go ahead on and drop us a comment down below and let us know if you've seen a sneaker on this list that you're going to personally grab or you think it's trash and I shouldn't have even included it. Just so you know, my criteria for stuff I talk about, because it's a lot of shoes coming out that I don't talk about, I only talk about stuff that I remotely would consider buying. There's lots of things that release in lots of different brands. But would I buy it? Do I think the people who watch my show will buy it? Probably not. So that's why I don't talk about it. So that's it for upcoming releases. Thank you, Ace Heavy Camp. Let's go to the next one. Sneaker Pickups. So for sneaker pickups this week, I got two that I want to focus on. I actually have three that I picked up recently. One was just a pair of biohacks, and I sold my worn pair and got a brand new dead stock pair. Two reasons, one, I needed them for a trade, and I didn't want to spend cash. And another reason was um, I needed a bigger pair. I think the biohacks I had them in uh, like 10 and a half or 11 or something like that. And they were a little, that particular shoe fit small on me. I don't know why. So I ended up getting these in 11 and a half, some biohacks. But the shoe I want to talk about today is uh, Yeezy 450. Uh, I got these in the cloud, the cloud white. Um, and I was excited to grab them. I got them from Top 3 Kicks for, well, they're they're selling them for 375 Of course, um, although we sell them for that, when we do grab the stuff in the store and wear it for ourselves, we don't charge ourselves for what we would uh, charge everybody else. But take a look at the shoe, though. I like it. Interesting shoe. This one is still in plastic, but I don't know. Something about having a shoe in plastic sometimes that makes it look more um, pristine to me. Okay, I'm gonna show some in the B-roll too. So I'm looking forward to wearing these shoes. They seem like they would be comfortable. When they first came out and I saw the pictures, it was just, it was interesting. It's an interesting looking shoe. And I think when they initially dropped this particular silhouette, there were three different colorways. Um, and so this is the one that's been the most interesting to me. The coolest pickup for the week, of course, the Air Jordan 2 Union LA collab. And I got the gray fog, of course. To me, that's the best shoe. It was never a question about which one, if I was going to grab one of those, uh, which one it would be. But take a look at this. This shoe is super dope. I'm going to move the string out of the way. I love it, okay? It's got suede up here, and then it switches to a canvas, and we have that uh, piping, the blue piping right before the ankle area. And uh, I think that that really um, gives it that contrast there, not just in texture, but also in color too, because they're not the same color gray. The This part of the shoe on the upper and in the, the ankle area, there's two different grays. So there's a lot of contrast going on here. And the bottom part uh, around the mud guard and all of this is suede, the mud guard part. Um, but the, uh, what do they call it? The box, I think, or the, the toe box part here is canvas. Um, I'm always worried about, and I've seen it in pictures from people that Air Jordan 2, um, the plastic part breaks as this gets old. So uh, I wouldn't tie these up too tight because that's always been a concern of man because plastic gets brittle as it gets old. But, uh, and this looks like it was very stiff, more of a plastic than a rubber. I don't know which one would be more of an issue. But anyway, I love these shoes. And the inside is so comfortable. They got leather in the inside. I'll show it on the B-roll. See, there's like leather in the actual inside of it. I love this shoe. And it comes with the two different uh, sets of laces too, right? So that's pretty damn dope. Not to mention that this shoe matches the winning 
Golden State Warriors Jasmine. I say winning already. I'm predicting it. Just like how Jason Terry went ahead and on and um had the trophy tattooed on his arm before the Mavericks had even won and beat the Brown them. You gotta have that type of confidence. You gotta keep that type of energy. I am very excited um, for Golden State, and I'm excited for this Golden State colorway of this Great Fog uh, Union too. This is probably one of my favorite pickups of the year, and probably of the last two years, really. Although we've got some pretty cool shoes. Um, these are valued a little under 400 right now in the Dell sizes. So if you want to pick up a youth size, I think that's in the upper twos, uh, early threes. Uh, but I was excited to grab my pair of these, and of course, I grabbed them at top three kicks. So if you're looking for hot shoes, this is where you're on top three kicks. So, throwback thoughts for this week, I really wanted to keep it simple and talk about the root of why we are here, which is gym shoes and basketball, which is what most of the gym shoes people wear. These low tops or high tops, they're basketball for either utility or basketball inspired for lifestyle, right? And I want to talk about shoes I actually will hoop in because I like playing basketball, me personally. And it is basketball, it's NBA final season right now, so why not, why not talk about basketball? Um, I played basketball in grade school, seventh to eighth grade, probably the same there. And uh, although I didn't have a hot shoes back then, I didn't play in high school. I went to Whitney Young for high school. Um, and although I didn't have an opportunity to hoop in high school, uh, I had a lot of basketball shoes and basketball um, lifestyle, either for utility or basketball. If I was to hoop, the only shoes I would really hoop in, it wouldn't be Jordans. I hope I'm not surprising anybody because Jordans are not the best shoes to hoop in. Um, I'm sorry if I burst somebody bubble, but they really aren't. For real hoopers, most, a lot of people, you see people hooping in KDs, you see people hooping in LeBrons, you see people hooping in Kobe's, of course, now in the league and other places um, on the courts, you know, the neighborhoods and the gyms, etc. You see a lot of people hoop, hooping in Kobe's. Me, personally, my favorite shoes that I've ever hooped in, I would have to say, would be the LeBron 11 Hornets. Um, I like those EXT King, King's Crown of the LeBron 11s. And also, um, I like my Kobe ADs. I had a purple and black colorway of the Kobe ADs. Rest in peace to uh, one of the greatest to ever do it. My second favorite basketball player of all time, Kobe Bean Bryant, the Black Mamba. Um, that shoe is incredibly comfortable and I feel like it supports me and it's flat. So I can ride my motorcycle in that shoe to the basketball court. I can rock it at the gym and still look flat. I think it's highly wearable. Um, I think it's a, definitely a slept on shoe and you can get it for just a little bit over retail too. Um, if I was gonna hoop in a pair of Jordans, Ace Heavy Camp, I think it would probably be probably some Mikes, some 11s, or some 6s. 4s, but 4s are too heavy and I don't like hooping in heavy shoes. Um, and 1s make my feet hurt if I walk in them too long or hooping in them. So that's my two cents for throwback thoughts this week. So a new segment we have on the show, Ace Heavy Camp, is toys. And I don't think I take enough time to talk about my toys and I always just shove them in at the end. So I wanted the segment just to talk about toys because I love toys. You, if you're an adult and you play with toys, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't play with people and I don't play with life and I don't play with this game of life that we out here doing uh, and living every day. But I do love to play and enjoy life and have a good time. With that being said, I finally got my PS5. So now it's time to talk about our new segment on the show, which is toys. I don't think I spend enough time talking about my toys, especially relative to the amount of time I spend collecting, thinking about, displaying, etc. There's nothing wrong with playing with toys. I don't play with people, I don't play with this game of life, you understand? But at the same time, I, and I don't play with money either. But, and I'm not a person to be played with, but I love playing with toys. And there's nothing wrong with playing with toys. And I have children, I have three, they play with toys. 
Uh, so I have to buy a lot of toys for them. I might as well get some cool stuff for myself. That being said, your boy finally got the PS5. Yes, finally got the PS5. I had to grab a bundle at GameStop uh, to get it. Uh, it was around like the 850 range. They make you buy the system and they make you buy um, a controller, a headset, and two games. The two games I got with it were Gran Turismo and also a baseball game. Right, um, and so I got probably like five games so far because I just got the system a little bit ago. So I had the baseball came, I want to say for free, it was part of a bundle for 850 with the system, a red controller, and then also baseball, right? And the Gran Turismo, so you Gran Turismo and you got the baseball, right? Uh, also games that I've gotten, the, this is the game that made me get the PS4, okay? Which is uh, this Evil Dead, Evil Dead the game. This is what made me grab um, the PS5. I'm sorry, it's a PS4, PS5. Because uh, I wouldn't have even went through the trouble. It's too difficult to grab the system right now. And I didn't want to pay double the price at some boutique or a video game place just to grab, uh, just to have a new system. It's not that serious for me these days. I play most of my games, I play on my phone. So anyway, I got Evil Dead. I got uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Even though I know they announced uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 is coming out soon, uh, I thought I'd brush up on it with 5. Um, NBA 2K22. Alright, um, the baseball game, I talked about that in the Grand Series. So, dropping a lot of stuff today. Yeah, I had, there was a blooper, y'all missed it. I dropped the whole um, microphone and set up and everything. My mic show it, we'll see. Uh, other toys that I got, hold on one second. Other toys. So, another toy that I got was I got the gun from the original Batman movie. Okay, it's the Grapnel Launcher Replica. Okay, and I think it's made by, is it made by Neko Tours? Most of the, uh, the nicer stuff. I got this at Target. It's made by ne NECA, NECA. So you can check it out, NECAonline.com. Um, but I thought this was really dope. It's something that I could say that, uh, I don't know that I ever always wanted, but I didn't know how bad I needed this in my life. So I got Batman gun from Batman 1. Yes, it do fire. Uh, you gotta put the batteries in it and you put the sand all the way and it lunch. And, uh, it's got the little grappling hook on now. You can't hang from it, but it's pretty cool though. So I can play like I'm Batman. Um, and the Batman mask, which is one of my Batman masks too. So also, what we have an opportunity uh, to look at this week is all of the cool He-Man toys. Um, so we have Man at Arms is one of the He-Man toys that I uh, want to show you guys. And also, uh, He-Man himself with the Battle Cat. So these at Target are half price. They just half priced out all of the He-Man toys. Um, and so these are uh, $24.96 or something like that. They typically like 50, 55 bucks. So I was able to grab Battle Cat and He-Man for half price. So that was pretty cool. I got that. And those are our toys for this week, Ace Heaven Camp. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. We're going to continue to expand this section as much as we can. So um, continue to stick with us. Grow with us. We appreciate y'all. Uh, and as always, like and subscribe. <laughs> also, Man at Arms. Man at Arms, of course, was like the advisor to uh, He-Man back in the day. And uh, he's a pretty hard character to find. Uh, his value on the resale market is like double what the retail is. And I think they typically go for, I don't know, a little under 20 bucks. Uh, so he's, he's probably like a $45 character um, in terms of his value. Oh, also, he's Tila, uh, which is one of the main female protagonists on He-Man. He's Tila's um, uh, daddy. Uh, so he's important in the He-Man universe, and I'm glad I was able to get Tila's daddy and He-Man's uh, advisor. It's pretty cool. Well, it's Heavy Camp. That's all we got for you this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? All of our social media information is there. And then, especially on YouTube, we love to interact with the fans. So if it's something that uh, you're looking for and then we can grab for you either through Top 3 Kicks or through some other connection, I would definitely be more than happy to do that. Send me a message. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram. All the information is uh, uh, available. Um, and also, please check me out on PlayStation now because your boy obviously is back down with the PS5. And uh, I'm looking at probably playing that Call of Duty. Um, 
whatever the new Call of Duty is, plus that Vanguard is out right now. Like NBA 2K, um, and of course, uh, in addition to NBA 2K, I'm gonna get into the Madden this year, I'm thinking too. Uh, and right now, I'm playing the Evil Dead. That's the game I'm the most excited about and I'm act actually actively playing. So check out your boy online live PS5. Without more needing to be said, because nothing needs to be said, it's understood. All right? Make sure you take care of yourself and do something good for somebody else. Because one win, we all win. And most importantly, if you cannot see it before you see it, then you probably will never, ever, ever see it. Peace, elevate, and we out. Uh huh. Ace the Young Heavy. Uh huh. Y'all know the time it is. The sickness. My nigga Bodil. Some niggas want the money, the power, the respect. Fuck this shit. I want all three of them bitches. Heavy shit. That's the definition of heavy. Heavy. Bitch, I'm heavy. Hey, bitch, I'm heavy. Hey, Louis hey, head to toe and something hey, full and fuck a Chevy. Hey, money everywhere. Money, money everywhere. Money, hey, money everywhere. I'm heavy hey, in it. I just spent a hundred thousand dollars. Stunting on these lanes. Get your money right and you can order steak on a plane. I laugh through the pain. It's snakes in this game. But what's a snake to an alligator, nigga? You a lame. So loud you smoke with me, you need a hearing aid I got that good, my phone be blowing up Hand grenades, yep. that heavy shit Put a price on your head like it's a sale on your mind Tell them again, number one That's right, that's right, that's right Bitch, I'm flat, check my altitude